Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here with a review of All American. So if you don't know, I love the show All American and I just decided to do a review. I was doing like a blog review, but it's just too much. So I'm here to do a review on here. So let's just get into it. First of all, we're going to start with Spencer. Like he's the main character, like obviously. So Last season, they ended, and it was the whole championship thing, and uh, Coach Baker was mad at Spencer because he helped Jordan. Then him and Jordan got in a fight, and everybody was fighting, and all that stuff. And so, what had happened was <laughs> they um, obviously, you know, Poop got shot at the end of last season by Mo. Who I knew, I knew Coop was right the whole time. And everybody was like, oh, she ain't doing, I knew she was trash. I knew it. I said it. I was like, I don't trust her at the beginning. I don't know why they decided to trust her. They crazy. So Coop got shot. So then they make a whole thing. I don't know if I like the flashback thing where they was going back. But so Spencer ended up leaving the game to see what how Coop was which I don't agree with. I feel like they should have just let Spencer be at the game, let him do his thing, and they could come back. I don't know why. I don't know why they, like, they didn't have to, no. He would have been mad, but they would have won. Granted, based on the little uh, video, I think they won anyway, but we're going to let, let that be. So, Spencer is, like, obviously distraught about Coop, and he's talking to his father at the gravesite about not taking the scholarship at Toledo. Is it Toledo State? I think. Um, and you see like the ins and outs of like talking to preach and talking to patients and like that whole situation. And Spencer again, trying to be a hero, trying to be a hero is frustrating. And Coach Baker he needs to get his life together because it's not that serious. Like, I understand your son's life was in danger. But also, again, like Spencer said, he was going to do it anyway. Whether it was with Spencer or somebody else, he was going to do it anyway. However, though, I will say that Coach Baker gave him the realest thing ever. He was like, you just scared that if you ain't there, they going to be all right. And I was like, that's probably very accurate. And sometimes you just got to let people, you know, be honest and say what they need to say. Even though he said it out of anger, I feel like it was true. Like, Spencer, you just need somebody to make sure that you're okay. And, like, I get, like, I think, obviously, there's also some fear in him um, that if he leaves, like, one, obviously the whole people fall apart, but I think also that he's going to fall apart. Like, what am I going to do without these people? So I think it's both of those things. It's not just one thing. Then we have Olivia. That was, I'm glad that they, she actually did not go through with it, but I knew I was like, trust me. I saw, we all saw the signs. Olivia's, uh, not Olivia. I'm tripping. Olivia is not who I was talking about. Layla and her friend, Carrie? Yes, Layla and Carrie. So I was like, I knew it. Like, we all saw the signs. Olivia saw the signs. Coop saw the signs that she was with her for five seconds. Like, all of these things. And so that whole situation was super scary. And I am definitely, like, glad she cared both of, like, Layla was able to get away and that Carrie did not do what she was going to do. Um, I think it was very great to show though that like people think these things and are really struggling with like the pain that they feel. And as someone that advocates for mental health, I think it was really, really powerful to show, especially because it's a teen show. Granted, this is, I don't know how traumatic like teen life is nowadays. I can't say that like high school was like that for me, but I'm sure high school was like that for some people. Um, granted, 
there's two worlds colliding like Beverly and Crenshaw and all these like different stories and the haves and have nights kind of kind of thing going on um so definitely grateful that Layla did not allow that space to like keep her but I'm I'm sad that she didn't see the signs that her friend was you know and that she didn't listen to Olivia but I get it like there's trust building in that situation that still needed to come to fruition clearly her and Jordan something's going to go down with Layla and Jordan okay uh the way he was hugging her I was like mm, y'all, y'all trying to set us up we already kind of saw that last season that like people were kind of already like mm, I think Layla and Jordan are gonna get together I don't know if that's accurate but there's definitely some like chemistry there and Feelings there, and they've known each other for a long time, just as much as Olivia has known Layla for a long time. So, yeah, I think that's going to be an interesting dynamic to show. Um, I thought it was great that Layla was, like, very honest with her dad instead of avoiding him, and that the dad was able to, like, take it and be like, you're right, you know, and not try to, like, press up against it and be like, no, 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 because, you know, some parents are like that. So yeah, I think I'm really proud of Layla for how she handled everything and trying to like talk her through, like one talking, carry through things, opening up to Jordan and then opening up to her dad. I thought that was really cool. Um, Who else do I need to touch on? And I think the other part, we talked about sincerity and we talked about um, Layla, I think that was a big one. Um, We didn't really get to see um, Asher, but I think that's a significant story that we're going to probably learn more about. Um, Coach Baker, again, I think he's mad about losing and also now like he's upset about the whole thing with Jordan and Spencer. And I feel like he needs to get over it because it's it's ridiculous. Um, Considering... How much he has not been there for Jordan. Um, <laughs> that's my feeling. Uh, but I just... And that, like, I was gra- glad Laura said something to him. Like, mm, yeah, okay. Um, trying to talk some sense into him. I thought that was super helpful as well. So, hopefully, like, they get it together. Because... Or he gets it together, not they because that's just dramatic um I'm interested to, interested to see if I forget his name in the show but his name is Da Vinci in real life and if they're gonna bring him back in a more in more of the show I'm interested to see that um obviously his mom's doing better which is really cool Coop preach patience that whole situation (sighs) it's just sticky and I'm glad preach said you need to wait for your lawyer because she was just saying too much she should have just been like I don't have to speak to you till my lawyer comes and I think that would that would have been probably the most helpful of her to just be quiet and not like uh talk about it obviously I'm assuming Laura is gonna end up being her lawyer because that makes sense like she's no longer working for she's no longer the DA so I'm assuming she's gonna like step in and help Coop because that's what that's what she's gonna do um but I'm glad Coop is not dead I will say that (laughs) I'm glad Coop is still alive because I would have been pissed However, when she played Spencer and was like, who are you? I was like, nah, I was sad. I was like, no. And then she was playing. I was like, see, it would be. She would be. It would be. Um, But I think that is very interesting what Patience said at the end. And she was like, everybody's trying to save Coop. But Coop puts herself in the position that she puts her in. She don't listen to nobody. She keep doing stuff to herself. I don't have time. And she said, I'm leaving. So I think that that's accurate. That's what she was trying to tell Spencer, though, the whole time. Like, 
Like, you don't got to be there for me. I can do stuff on my own. And literally, you keep trying to save her and she keep putting herself in that position. Granted, again, like I said, they should. We all know. We, I knew Mo was up to no good, but I don't know. Whatever. So, and then, oh, I forgot to say that he did. Spencer did end up signing with Toledo State. My prediction is that he's not going to go to Toledo State, but be, that's going to be because he's going to get somewhere else, signed to somewhere else that he really wants to go so that he can be closer to home. That's my thought. Um, obviously, Coach Baker is trying to get into, like, the whole Olivia thing and, like, Olivia not focusing on herself and that whole thing, but I think he's just mad still. And I think, obviously, I said Laura's going to be um, Coop's lawyer in this whole situation. Um, I think Asher is going to be able to be like a coach or, of some sort or do something in the football realm. Um, even though he's not able to play, I think they're going to get he's going to get a significant like placement. Jordan, I don't know. I don't know about Jordan. I know that I feel like Jordan and Layla are going to get together. It's going to be super interesting because, you know, Spencer was with Layla and that's also Olivia's brother. It's ugh, interesting. Um, also, Jordan and why am I blanking on her name? Jordan and Simone. Obviously, she's no longer going to be on the show because she has her own show now. But Jordan and Simone, that whole thing, like, is going to have to end. And there's going to be some conflict with that with Layla and Jordan, too. Um, oh, and the principal, like, they didn't show him. But, I mean, again, this is the first episode. So, that is my thoughts. Like, I think Grace is probably going to start, like, dating uh, continue to date the principal but we'll see how that goes so yeah those are my thoughts let me know what your thoughts are down below and i will see you next week with another review of episode two